They hate it. Apparently it's not happily ever after enough. Life in high school was just so simple and pure. It was easy to write happily ever after because that's how everything felt. We had some amazing nerdy years in this room. Okay, we weren't that nerdy. Free. We weren't cool. How many days did we sit at that table in the window talking about I life? I just feel like he will never notice me. By life, you mean boys. Kaylin is an idiot. Kaylin Jacobs? Is that you? Seems like everyone's back in our little Willow Springs for Christmas. Bria. I haven't spoken to Jake in over 16 years. We'll make it work, I promise. I'd really like to catch up. I've just been writing. I know, I read it. I was like reading a memory, for the first half anyway. I have spent so many years moving forward and living my life without him. Seeing him again, it's like I am right back in high school. Wanted to come here and pretend to be a teenage girl this weekend. I didn't expect to actually feel like one. Jake, it's your world. You loved him, but you followed your dreams, made them come true. Leaving you knowing how much you wanted me to stay was the hardest thing I've ever done. Doesn't mean it's too late for your happily ever after. Maybe you just need a few rewrites on the ending. Reconnecting with someone from your past does not have to change your future trajectory. And if it does, well, then it was all meant to happen. Just on a different timeline than you had planned. I romanticize everything about the past and I don't appreciate what's right in front of me. I think I'm ready to open my mind and my heart to whatever the future holds.